Howdy folks, welcome to episode 45. We are back at the freight depot and I decided that we're gonna fix this and the way we're gonna fix it is by making it into a uh, spinny Batman thingy. So that's what we're gonna do, the Batmobile spinny thingy. Um, I know that's the that's the uh, technical term that was when they first built the first one in uh, 1720. That was what they called it. They called it the Batman spinny thing, Batmobile spinny thing. So that's what we're going to call it. Um, we're going to put that, we're going to keep that on the same level here so that we can do this. So what we want to do is we want to be able to put the, the engine on this and then turn it around. So I suppose we don't want to go too far, right? We just want to go pretty much right off of where this thing is. So this thing is going to come off here. And then we're going to go like this, and then we're going to connect it like that. Why didn't it place? <laughs> I didn't right click, did I? It's showing on the map. Look on the map. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. All right. Apparently it wants to be there. Um, we're going to take this track out then, because it wants to connect to that track, is apparently what it was trying to do. Okay. So we're going to try to put it in here. We're going to put that. Can we? We can't raise it up. Let's see if we can get it to raise up if we put it on top of this. No, it's not going to do it now. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to have to let it do its thing. Okay. So we're going to go like demolish rails. And then we're going to uh, connect this if we can. So we're going to go like this three foot rail. Let's spin this around so that it's not trying to do some weird thing and connect backwards, right? And then what we want it to do is we want it to go over this way and connect like this. There we go. All right, and I think the other thing we could probably do is let's try turning this because it's going to connect to wherever this thing is we right mouse button okay is it going to rotate it's not rotating is it not giving me the button now it's not even giving it's not even showing me a button where i can do that <laughs> what is it doing there we go wait where'd it go there it is rotate counterclockwise is it just not going to do it okay we're going to take out this rail because it's too sharp and we're going to see if we can get this why isn't it want to rotate there we go okay apparently I have to turn the mouse anyway I had to click it and then turn the mouse okay so let's see how that looks yeah, see, this is going to be a little too sharp. So I think what we can do is we can put one back here a little bit more. Let's try this. Let's put some embankment here, too, because I want this to be level with this. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to come up so that this is level with that. See? like that and now we're gonna go across here okay now let's get rid of this and we're gonna put in the turntable is it gonna let me it's not gonna let me put it up on the elevation really well that's kind of lame don't you think all right, so uh, you know what? We can point it. Okay, I was going to say I need to make it rotate, but it looks like we can do that right here. Are you going to let me place it? Okay. All right, so we need to demolish this. I guess it's not rails, it's groundwork. Demolish groundwork. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to put a piece of track out of here to here. It's just that it's going to be this little hill here, and I didn't want that. Because then it's going to try to do things, you know? Right? 
it's going to try to do stuff. So we're going to put this on the other side just so that we don't overrun it accidentally, right? There we go. And then we can even put a um, end of track, a bumper. There we go. All right, cool. So we'll put that on there, and then what we can do is we can um, we can hook that onto the other switch too. We could always do that. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go like this. Demolish. Whoops. Demolish tracks. We're gonna demolish these rails, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook that back onto here. Is this one going? So I'm almost thinking we could switch it for this rail and have it switch on back there. We'd have to switch this one to the other direction though. Let me see, because we have another we have another doohickey here. Yeah. So let's get rid of these. We're gonna get rid of these rails. We don't need these anymore, so let's get rid of all this stuff. This one. And this we can use the thing we can use the tree thing to put the trees back in. Oh by the way, um since I added the Mosca it's it um the the buggy exchange save does not like the new um format that it uses for the names. I don't know, it used some alternate format that I haven't been able to decode. And so um what I've been having to do is use uh the rose editor to load up the save rename the Mosca, rename and renumber the Mosca and, and it's tender and then save it with rows and then the save is fine and then my my <laughs> my save thing can read it from then on so but just FYI that's kind of you know I'm kind of thinking we should put it here instead of the other spot because that's really far down there why don't we do that we're going to take out these switches because we should be able to swap these out so we're gonna go like this and we're gonna do a switch left with the switch on the left and we're gonna hook that there all right and then we're gonna do a um, this doesn't seem right and then is this one gonna if we hook it here is it gonna work no it's not going to okay demolish rails And then we're gonna hook up. This is gonna be a switch right, but the thing's gonna be on the other side. So like that. We're gonna do that. Let's see if this hooks by itself. No, it doesn't. Why is it so far off? Am I just imagining things? Because it wasn't like that before. Okay, we're gonna take out this one and this one we're gonna go like switch right with this with the switch on that side and then we're gonna use this one we're gonna connect to here and we're gonna see what that does see that's way off maybe it is the switch left yeah that's got to be what it is okay so we were doing the switch right let's go switch left the thing on this side and then it was that one yeah that looks more like it okay and then the other one is going to be switch here we'll spin this around does that look like it's going to be yeah see we want to do the other way so it's going to be switch I don't think it's going to work. Because we need a piece that's going to go left. Let's see what switch right does. Yeah, see, that's going to be a straight line. So that's definitely not it. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go switch left with the thing on this side. Yeah, and we're going to hook it on here see what that does okay and then this piece of track we're just gonna relay uh, you know what no that's not even right either <laughs> Let's try this one more time we're gonna do that same switch left but we need to put we need to hook the other side up so we're gonna go like switch left 
this and then we're going to go eight one more time and we're going to hook it like that that's what we needed to do okay so that's going to hook up to this and then we can fix the other track so we'll go like this we'll link this and this is going to link into here there we go okay and then we need this track to reconnect on the other end so let's go like this we're going to spin it around here I mean we could put a siding over here too here let's go like this I mean, we could put we could put a siding on this side why don't we do that let's get rid of this demolish rails that that and this and we're gonna go like this here oh we need to switch that so it's like this we're gonna put a siding on this side and then on this end we're gonna put a siding on the left so we need to switch left We should put some we should put some space between that too. We're gonna to put a little bit of space between it because otherwise it's just it's too much. The switches are too close together and then you can't tell which switch you're supposed to be hitting. You know what I mean? We're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna put our switch left on the left side. Because otherwise, these two are like right next to each other. The switch, right, and then I, I end up <laughs> doing the wrong one. No, what are you talking about? I, that never happens to me, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna put that one, and then we're gonna go back because I'm too lazy to turn it around. So we're just gonna run back instead of turning it around. It's easier this way. All right, and we may have to. We might have to. We'll see what happens here when we hook this. Is it going to do it? Yeah, it's going to swing it out. Good. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, so we can put our siding there. There we go. All right. We almost got like a, a regular old rail yard here. Cool. And we're going to put some gas in these so that we can try them out. So what we want to be able to do is we could probably even put some tracks out from here. Why don't we do that while we're out here? We're going to rotate clockwise. We're going to put a couple of ends out here so we can just sit an engine out here if we want to. So we're going to put one here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it going so far? I don't want it to go that far. Let's try that again. Is it going to let me? There. A little bit. All right. Now we're going to put another track here. And let's get this lined up. There we go. And you know what? We'll just do a straight line, right? And then we're going to go up half 1%. There we go. And then we can do another piece. We'll get that, get this spun out here. Rotate clockwise. Spin it a little bit, a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to put, let's see. Oh, it's not this. Let's go like facilities, engine shed. What do we have? Aspen gold, barn red. We're going to, can we hook it on? Is it going to? I don't think they link right now. Let me see. We can't change which thing it's going to link to either, can we? Okay. Can we get it to go to match up with that? Maybe. I don't think it's going to. So we can open. Yeah, let's open the doors. If we can open the doors. There we go. Let's see if we can, can we link a track from here? 
Let's see if it'll let me link on this. I saw a link right over here. Let's see. Yeah, it will. Okay. All right, so we're going to demolish this rail. And then we're going to link a track from here. And we'll do this sort of deal. Just so we can get this to hook up to here. Aw, oh, man. And it was like that, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's going to let me. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to let me do it or not. Let's see. Let's see how this looks when we turn this back. But let's go like this. I think what we need to do is we need to put two pieces. So we're going to go like this. We're going to put in a three foot rail. We're going to use circle mode. We're going to go out. We're going to go out five meters. And then we're going to go circle mode and we're going to go like this. And we'll go out maybe 10 meters, right? Okay, now let's put a, let's try putting a, an engine shed here. And we'll see if we can get this approximately where we want it. Which looks like it would be right there. That might even be able to, no, it's a little off. Okay. So then we should be able to just connect these two, like this link link perfect okay yep I think that's what we need to be able to do okay so we can do the same thing with this one so let's just go like let me see we need to demolish well let's see if this will let's see if this will move to that first we need to get it nope rotate counterclockwise counterclockwise there we go. Now, does it have like a stop on it? I guess not. <laughs> How do you get it to stop where you want it to? <laughs> it doesn't have like any little detents or whatever they call them. All right. Let's try to get this lined up. No, 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 counterclockwise. Come on. Seriously? Really? Okay. This is... <laughs> I think this is like the worst control I've ever seen on this thing. Now it's not doing anything. Okay. It's like I can't tell what it's actually doing. Is my turning the screen doing anything, or is it just holding the mouse button down only, or am I dragging it, or am I just clicking? You know? I can't tell, and then I can't tell it when to stop. See, it's just going, and I'm not clicking anything, and now it's like ignoring my inputs. <laughs> Alright, who decided this was a good idea? Alright, let's go like this. Now it makes me glad I avoided these all this time. <laughs> okay. A little bit more. And we're going to line these up. So that we can... There. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to take this. Demolish rails. Can we actually make one that goes from here... Two here. Yes, okay, it does link. All right. It linked that time. It was kind of weird, but it did it. <laughs> so we could probably even put a switch on there and put, you know, put both doors, but we'll just do this for now. And then we're going to take out the trees if we can. Hopefully, it'll let me do this one. Yep, okay. get this tree out of here and hopefully it'll let me yep okay good and then we're gonna get the engines over here 
So we'll see if we can get that to happen. Get clear out a little bit more space here. Okay. So we've got, I think we've got all the stuff we wanted to do there. So we need to bring this back. We need to bring this one back. There we go. Rotate counterclockwise. See, I'm clicking the right mouse button. It's not doing anything. I am holding the mouse button. It told me... There we go. Now if I look this way, what's it do? See, it keeps going. All right. I'm holding the left mouse button, trying to slow it down. Yeah, I can't tell if it's if it's taking effect, what when it's taking effect and when it's not. <laughs> okay. Those little clicks are doing things. So we want to get this lined up. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a little detent on there where it's like it just stops. Or, you know, rotate clockwise to the next, right? Until it's aligned with the next track. Because why else, you know? Right? And use the middle mouse button to click and drag to some other. Or, you know, stand any outside and rotate until you're lined, aligned with the player. See, why does it seem like it's not going to work? Okay, well, we're going to bring the engine up and see what happens. See if we can get it to go on there. Okay, so we're going to put this switch. And then we need to put some stuff in here, right? We're going to go like this. And we're going to take off the brakes. We're going to take off the brakes on this one. Can I hear it? There we go. Alright, then we're going to put some fuel in this one. And then we'll take off the brakes. We're going to go forward. And we should be able to get this moving before we um, before we run out of yeah, hopefully before we run out of boiler pressure. Get this going. A little bit more. There we go. I mean, we shouldn't need too much boiler pressure to just basically turn this thing around to get it past this switch and then push it backwards to the other one. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, that that really needs some improvements on the on the uh, interaction with the turntables, the Batman spinny things. Like I said, I didn't name them that. They named them that in the 1720s, so blame them. Blame the the old people. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on this track. I mean, I could just use the Shea instead, right? All right. Go. Fire temperature's getting up there. Okay. See what it's going to do here. What's our water temperature? Our water temperature is getting up there, so we should have some. We should have some power by the time we get up there. See, 60. As soon as it gets to 100, it starts adding back to the boiler pressure. We're going past the thing. We should. We should ring the bell, right? Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna take we're gonna pull these up pretty close and then we're gonna disconnect the Shea. And we'll just spin the Shea around and then we'll spin the other one, the Monty. There we go. 
a little bit more. This is downhill a little bit too. All right, so we've got that. Let's put on the brakes. There we go. And then we're gonna disconnect this one. There we go, and then we should be able to, let's see if we can get this to come back. And we're gonna go turn off the brakes see if this is going to fly off the track or what, right? It's only one thing, so, I mean, if we have to re-rail it, it's not that big of a deal. But, see what it does here. Huh, nope, it looks like it's going onto the track. Awesome. Yep, it's rolling on there. Cool. Okay, so we are on the spinny thing. All right, let's jump out here. The Batmobile spinny apparatus. <laughs> and get this rotating. And this is supposed to be able to handle even the longest trains that are in the game right now. So it's cool. And we can put one of these up at the top of the hill. Honestly, this, this is probably more uh, time and effort than Whoa, it's suddenly it's going really fast. This is more time and effort than the uh, than just making a giant loop and turning everything around on the loop, right? <laughs> At least with that, you only have to switch one switch and you don't have to be accurate about... You don't have to, like, put the switch th between point A and B, right? You don't have to get the switch to exactly the right location. Okay, I don't know how fiddly that is as far as how accurate you have to be, how exacting you need to be in order to um, to get it to land in the on the thing. Let's go like this so we can see the wheels back here. There we go. I forgot we can use W. We can use W and S to To turn the regulator on and off. Cool. Nope, looks like it's fine on that. Looks like it doesn't care about that little gap there. Okay, cool. We can reverse it gently in here. Hopefully it won't collide with the doors or anything like that, right? <laughs> Let's see. See what we can see from the back here. Nice. I am definitely not going to put engines in the house every single episode at the end of every episode or anything. That's for sure. <laughs> but I think these are going to be... Whoops. These are going to be on break for a while anyway. So we'll put them in here. There we go. All right. Okay, so we've got that one. We need to get the other one on the track counterclockwise. And then let's see if we can get this to stop. There we go. I'm holding the, yeah, there it goes. Okay. I was going to say I'm holding the mouse. It's just such a weird mechanism. It's getting close, getting close. It's probably like within the width of the rail is, is probably where it needs to be, right? Okay, this one, we're going to pull it all the way across and make sure that it can go across too. At the same time, we'll see if that's close enough or not. We're going to find out. All right. All right, so we're going to jump out and we're going to watch the wheels as they go across here. Wow, it's going a little fast. Whoops. No, it's doing fine. All right, okay. 
cool and then it's gonna go this way yep it'll still make it okay cool so we're gonna go back and we'll get back on the turntable here and then we can worry about spinning it around there we go okay so we're gonna spin it this way we need to go all the way can you get it spinning super fast and then you know use it like a centrifuge <laughs> <laughs> the train goes wobbling off the flying off the end <laughs> all right maybe not right yeah i i'm i'm reconsidering whether or not i want to put one of these at the top of the hill but yeah we'll do that i think i'll get better at this this will become easier to control, I think. A little bit more. I'll bet you can't do it in third person. All right, there it goes, and our doors are open. Okay. So let's do this. Reverse. Go, go, go! <laughs> huh. Interesting. The tender is more sensitive to that, apparently. All right, so we're going to come in. Let's see. I can't see where the back is. But it should have room, right? I don't think you put the tender... I don't think you take the tender off separately to put it separate from the engine, do you? I don't think that's how it works. Okay, and that should do it. Cool. Let's see what our where our wall is. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room in there. Here, yeah, we got plenty of room in there. Cool. All right. So yeah, here we're gonna put the reverser in forward. We're gonna do that on the other one, just because I know I'm gonna forget. I wanted to walk through the walls for some reason. Let's close the doors. You know what, I have to find out if those doors are in the save. If these things are in the save, I might I might be breaking my save editor with these. <laughs> it's possible. Because they're on the structures. I don't think I had it look at any of the structures. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. We're going to put the reverser in forward. Okay. All right, cool. So then this looks like it's in good shape. Wow, that's looks kind of well it's not past the edge of the ties so I don't think it'll ram into anything I don't think it'll collide with anything and then we've got our siding over here we're gonna switch that and this one should be the same way yeah okay cool and then we're gonna go up to here yeah see we have our little spinny thing here so see what we can do here we need to um, open controls and we need to go backwards a little bit yeah we need to go backwards okay so let's go like this we're gonna move this one backwards till it's off of this segment I'm pretty sure we put an extra segment in here too, didn't we? But yeah, we'll move this one until it's off the... Can I get on there? There we go. This one is so weird. There. As far as where you have to click. See, I renamed it M in 1. As you see there on the side. This is M in number 1. That's what. That's why. I just I didn't I wasn't being creative I didn't care I just wanted to get it renamed is there another segment on here I don't see one yeah there's right there okay so we just need to get past that spot 
And then... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't have any air brakes. Do we have air brakes? Oh, apparently it doesn't care. Okay, nope. Compressor. Does the compressor do anything? I don't think the compressor's doing anything either. But our brakes work. Okay. Nope, it's turned... Okay. I forgot about that if they, if they had done that. Okay, so we want to take out this segment here. And then we're going to put in a switch to the right. Let's go like this. Let's see if we have another link point on here somewhere. Isn't that a type of cat? <laughs> yeah, see, there's a link right there. Okay. What if we do that? And then we can put the, the spinny on the outside? Because this almost perfectly matches that curve. I think that's a better option. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to demolish rails this segment. And then we're going to put a switch left with the thing on the outside. Like that. No, that's too sharp. Okay. We'll do the switch right with, this, with the switch on the outside. There we go. Okay, and so this is going to connect to here. So that should be a nice, see that's a nice smooth curve. And then this is going to connect out here. So we're going to put a spinny thing. This is going to come out this way, right? We're going to go like this. And then we should be able to connect our track. And then we want to turn this so that it's going to be facing that. And then we can, here, let's get these trees out of here too. So we can actually see what we're doing. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is ever even going to be needed, to be honest. I don't know if we'll ever use this. But we'll get... Let's get this one deleted too. Demolish rails. That. And then we're going to spin this until it's... Until it's facing that way. Because why not, right? I mean, we're putting it in. We might as well have, have it accessible from both directions. And almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. A little bit more. I think something like that should be good. Okay. I'm not sure how well <laughs> this one's going to connect. Let's see. We'll give it a shot and see. <laughs> no, that's a little... That's a little scary there. I think maybe we need to put that back this way instead. Is there another... Let's see if we have a switch to the right. See if there's another link point here. Yeah, there's a link. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. That one right there. And I think we can reverse that. So we're going to demolish this and this. We're going to go switch left. The points on the outside. And then we're going to take this one off. And this one, because that's horrible. All right, and then we're going to reconnect these. like that. How's that look? Oh yeah, that's a lot nicer. 
And then we're going to come up to this one. And we're going to use this. Let's see what angle we want to come out about like that. So we're going to do something like, let's change our circle mode here. There we go. And like that. I think that should that should work pretty nicely. And then we're going to go like this, zero, and bring this up here. Yeah, see, it's it's we need to we need to get this to where we're going to line up before we decide. I mean, we might even be able to just line it up with this one and go through, but there's no reason to. You shouldn't need to do that, right? Um, we're going to go the other way, other way, other way. There we go. Clockwise or counterclockwise. until we're about parallel with that. Counterclockwise, come on, you can do it. And then clockwise. No, 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 too much, <laughs> too much. A little bit less, there we go. Something like that. Okay, and then we should be able to just connect. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. What is it doing? Where is it going? Why did it do that? Rotate clockwise. I don't know what it did there. That was weird. See, that's what I mean. This thing just has a mind of its own. All right, rotate clockwise. If you hold the mouse down too long, it like just goes, okay, keep going, go, go, you know, and it ignores further input or something. A little bit more, and we'll get this. It looks like it should almost do it. Because this can just swing a little wide. Okay, like that. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to connect this. And we'll take off the, take off the five. <laughs> Bonus points if you know where that's from. <laughs> take off the five. That's how he says it. Okay. And <laughs> there we go. Todd Wilkinson. Okay, so cool. We've got our, yeah, we've got our other Batmobile spinny thing, as they call it in the industry. <laughs> Alright, and I'm a real DJ now because I spun the turntable. Cool. Well, I think we're going to, yeah, I don't know if we're ever going to use it. Because <laughs> it's a pain. But it's there in case we need to for some reason. And it's totally like you have to go through 12 switches to get from the sidings over to, <laughs> to that. So it's probably not the best construction. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for episode 45. Join me in episode 46. And um, I'm not sure we might make a run down to the, to the coal mine again. But I think we're probably going to do a 45 and a half and run some more oil up here just so we can try to fill up these oil bears. But yeah, that's going to be it for episode 45. Join me in episode 46, and we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>